So right now you have your pseudocode in and commented. And I'm just, I'm not gonna actually show you all the code to read the text file into one string. Um, that's gonna be your job. Uh, what I have right here, I just set a string equal to an example maze right here. I didn't read this from a file, but you should have, I have several mazes, different maze files here that I use in my actual code to test it, make sure that it runs. But for now, uh, just to show you how to get started, I just created a string that'll represent a maze. Uh, and I believe this maze will look something like, like that. So it's pretty simple three by three maze. All right, how do we create this maze? We have the string that represents it. Well, you do need to make sure you have maze.java because uh, that's the maze right there. So we're going to make one of these. Maze m equals new maze. Now in the constructor, we can go look, there is no constructor that takes no arguments. And if we look in here, at the top, here's the constructor, and it takes a string. All right, I know it's constructor because it's public, same name as the class. So it needs to take a string, it will take this string right here. All right, anytime you wanna call a method on maze, it's m dot, as long as your maze is named m, m dot. Now this comment here said set animated and true, all right. So when you set the maze animated, every move, every thing that you set, if you set something to explored, uh, it will actually print out the maze every time there's some update to it. So it saves you a lot of print statements is what the set animated does. I think it also is a 100 millisecond, one tenth of a second delay. So it lets you see what was done. You can change this delay if you go into the maze uh, dot java file, you can change that. Maybe 500 might be better for you at the beginning. All right, so let's go ahead and sout the maze. Oops, that slash and needed to make it in. There we go. All right, so hopefully, oh, look at that. There is my maze. That's what I was hoping for. Okay, you have to do a lot more work here. You got to read in a file and turn it into a single string with new lines in it, create a maze, uh, set animated to true, and then print out your maze. So you should then see your maze on the screen.